Let's talk about Lowe's business credit cards. Are they worth it? Can you build business credit with them? Let's talk about that. So here's an overview I really want you to pay attention to. So when we think about Lowe's, you have to think about a, a home improvement store chain, right? So if you work frequently, and let's say you have a, the kind of job where you are running a business that requires a visit to a home improvement store to buy supplies for one project for or another, then the $0 annual fee, Lowe's business credit cards, like the, the rewards card from American Express will merit your consideration. And the thing is that owning the cars open the doors to a 5% discount at Lowe's when you use a Lowe's business credit. And uh, plus using the card on your, your other expenses can it help you build a pile of rewards and discounts to help you pocket even more savings. So when you close your eyes, if anybody were to talk to you about the Lowe's business credit card, think about, okay, you have rewards and you have discounts. So th this is the duality I want you to think about, rewards and discounts. And uh, the APR on this card, it goes from 20.74% to 29.74% variable. And there are no balance transfers allowed on this card. So this is not a card for balance transfers. And you actually have a welcome bonus of $100 that you can actually use at, at any lows that you have. And uh, but you gotta have, your credit score has to be fair. So they start looking at you if you have fair credit, good credit, or excellent credit, not a problem. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. I really appreciate having this uh, this conversation with you. We are going to talk about Lowe's business credit cards so you have a clear idea of what, the, 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 of what this product is about. So here are the pros and cons of this service. Pros, there is no annual fee. You have a 5% back on cash back on all eligible purchases at Lowe's in the first six months. You earn, so this is kind of cool. And uh, you also have a, a welcome bonus that is earned upon card approval. There are no membership fees. This is really cool. You have a, a high, like a system of high rewards in place there. Fantastic. What about the cons? Now, rewards can only be redeemed for Lowe's gift cards or American Express statement credits. No intro APR on purchases. No balance transfers allowed. There is a foreign fee. And uh, so in some cases, depending on your geography, Lowe's is requiring good to excellent credit. So overall, here is what you have it. And the thing here is that you can earn, a, you can get a 5% cash back on all eligible purchases at Lowe's in the first six months. And you can earn 2% back cash back at US restaurants, US office supply stores, wireless telephone services purchased directly from US service providers and at Lowe's. Let me give you more details about this this Lowe's business credit card. So the thing here, when we when you, when we think about the the Lowe's business credit cards, you have to think about the rewards card. So the, the official name is the Lowe's business rewards card. So this is basically a store card, okay? And so you don't have to actually uh, you don't have to uh, think deep about this. It's just a store card that is hiding behind a credit card makeover. It runs on the American Express network, so you can use it anywhere American Express is accepted. But any rewards you earn on the card are generally going to be funneled back to use at Lowe's, okay? And redemptions on the card are limited to gift cards for either Lowe's or American Express. And so don't think that you will ever like use the card and anywhere else and just get credit and get credit for it. Now, of course, American American Express gift cards can be used virtually anywhere. American Express is also accepted. But getting your rewards back this way is not as smooth as getting actual cash back as a check, deposit, or even a statement credit to your account. So, but for, for someone who spends a lot of money at Lowe's, the card is an all-in-one solution to save on your home improvement spending. Between the upfront 5% discount you will get on every purchase there, plus the two points per dollar in rewards you will earn on your eligible Lowe's purchase, you will rack up the savings faster than with alternative options. And we have actually, uh, we have the math, we have actually calculated the savings and it's a lot, but you have to be within the, the Lowe's uh, eco ecosystem though. Okay. So this is really important to remember. And one thing I want to say here is that uh, it's also important to understand that you are actually like your, your savings will, will rack up over time. Okay. And by the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about Lowe's business credit cards. So you have a clear idea what you're getting yourself into if you want to go with, with this card. And one thing I want to say is that the card is, is great also in, in terms of giving you discounts on Lowe's pro services. So if you are, if you are, let's say if you're familiar with Lowe's, you know that they have the, the pro services. So 
and and those can be costly depending on the the geography like the state you're in the location that you're in and so having the ability to have discounts on those lowest approach services can be really i mean can be really valuable in our in our view one thing I also need to say here is that you have to, you also you also have to think about the timing of the application. So if unless you run like unless you use Lowe's all the time, it's it's really important to to time the you know, like if you want if you wanted to apply for this card, this Lowe's business credit card, make sure you time it to an upcoming project. Don't do it after after the fact or before the fact. No, it has to be closer to the to the fact. I want to talk to you about the rewards here. So when we talk about uh, the rewards you can expect, first of all, it's important to know that if you have a fair credit, good credit or excellent credit, you could qualify, right? And uh, you're not going to qualify if you have bad credit, not at all. And uh, so the rewards are pretty, you know, they're pretty decent. It's not like a big thing there, but no, it, it's decent. So basically you get a $100 cashback up on approval. Okay, and you earn five points on purchases made on your card at lows in the first six months of account opening. So when you really think about it, you know, there's three additional points on top of the two you already earn. And so you earn two, two points per dollar at U.S. restaurants, office supply stores in the U.S. and on wireless telephone services. But you got to purchase those from uh, U.S. service providers. But see, honestly, and we have done the math in, the, in, in this department also. It's just a lot better to actually uh, to to earn points by actually spending your cash at Lowe's. This is why I'm just telling you: if you're not interested in Lowe's or you have not used them, like like you, if you don't use them, if you don't use them, let's say um, continually or constantly, don't go don't don't get this card. The card is really great for for those uh, Lowe's aficionados and aficionadas out there. Okay, and you are able to actually rack up points and see. When we talk about getting 5%, we're talking about getting 5% off on all eligible purchases at Lowe's, Lowe's.com and Lowe's4Pros.com. Okay. And uh, so Lowe's business rewards points can be redeemed for statement credits or Lowe's gift cards. So this is, uh, you know, you're not going to get the cash. You're not going to get the cash elsewhere. And uh, the, but the, one thing we don't like about the card is that it does carry a foreign transaction fee just kind of weird i'm like why would you i mean first of all lowe's is located in the united states why would you use the use the card for something else okay and because the lowe's business credit card is ideal for small business owners who regularly shop at lowe's have a big lowe's purchase coming up and perhaps even spend a fair amount at, at restaurants and office supply stores and so this is what it is but you don't want to you don't want to use this card overseas no that would be really crazy and uh, so but there is a maximum late fee that you need to be aware of. So that's thirty nine dollars if you don't if you if you don't really have, uh, you know, you don't pay on time. And the grace period here is not 28 days or 30 days. We've heard this. People talk about with lows that you have uh, 28. No, with lows, the uh, the grace period is 20 is 25 days. 25 days is uh, the max is the period. And so you have the ability to earn rewards and you have to, you can redeem. Remember, the, the rewards, the redemption can only happen basically uh, like it has to happen within lows okay this is really important now it's it has to you have to really ask yourself what you really need and so let's talk about that so let's talk about the extras so the extras here so when we the things you need to know like when we talk about the lowest business business credit card, you need to know that there is a there is a the thing is that the, the card does offer a modest introductory period of zero percent for sixty days on new purchases, sixty days, not six months or one year. No, two months. They are giving you a zero percent intro rate, so a minimum monthly payment is required, and regular rates apply after the sixty day promotional period ends. So this is a nice, nice bonus. But if you are looking for a card specifically for a zero, let's say an intro APR period, there are many other options. There are many better options. Okay, but again, you you get this card if you are in the Lowe's ecosystem. So basically, you have the Lowe's Pro services. So you get discounts, including discounted delivery, bulk rate pricing, and the business replenishment program. You have purchase protection, so that applies to purchases for up to 90 days from the covered purchase date if it's stolen or accidentally damaged 
up to a $1,000 per occurrence, up to a $50,000 per account per calendar year. And you also have the extended warranty, which is really great. In other words, you can extend, you can actually extend the five year or less warranty period on covered items for, for up to uh, an additional year. So boss, this is really cool. I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about Lowe's business credit cards. So you have a clear idea what you, what you're getting yourself into if you want to go with this card. And one thing I want to say here is that overall, you got to ask yourself, you know, obviously if you spend, if you spend a lot of cash at Lowe's, it's kind of cool, but you got to ask yourself, is it better to get uh, another card? I'll speak about that in the next session, but it's important because don't think because, uh, simply because you're buying at Lowe's, the card they're offering is actually the best card. It's kind of, it's kind of funny because people think, well, you know, if I, if I'm buying it at Target, if I'm a Target uh, lover, the Target store lover, I need to get the Target red card. Or if I'm a, if, if I, I am an, an Ikea lover, I'm, I'm going to get the Ikea credit card. It, it doesn't work that way. I mean, it's a little more, tr it's a little trickier than that. Okay. It's, and it's really important to consider many, many things before making, making a decision. Let's talk about the rivals. So when we talk about Lowe's, obviously Lowe's is not the only uh, one. It's not the only card that uh, the Lowe's credit card, the Lowe's business rewards card, is not the only one that offers this to a lot of players in the in the industry. So let's quickly uh, contrast, compare, and contrast the Lowe's business rewards card from American Express to the the Blue Business Plus credit card from American Express, because the, the thing is that um, the uh, the Blue Business Plus credit card may not come with any retailer discounts. But for businesses who charge less than fifty thousand dollars a year, it could, it could offer some significant savings, honestly. And because the card carries no annual fee and earns two membership rewards points per dollar on everyday business purchases, such as let's say uh, office supplies or client dinners, up to the first fifty thousand dollars in purchases per year, then it has one point per dollar on all other purchases. Whether you are buying printer paper or a pallet of pavers you will love actually uh you know you'll love this card it also comes with an introductory apr offer that might be helpful if you are considering a big buy think about it you're having a zero percent intro apr on purchases for 12 months from the date of account opening this is really good then you have a variable rate of uh 18.24 to 26.24 percent so this is kind of cool so when you think about this card in general you are able to have a, a constellation of uh let's say benefits okay uh, the the only thing we don't like here is that the card it does have an annual fee sorry it does have a foreign transaction fee not an annual fee it does have a foreign transaction fee that's like 2.7 percent to three percent so i mean you know so you can't use the card overseas if, if you if you ever wanted to use it then you have to think like uh of alternative ways but overall this is kind of cool one thing i want to say here is that in based on our experience the approval process for for this card is a lot like it's a lot faster it's a lot easier than with uh, all the uh, all the other american credit uh, all the other american business credit cards okay and uh we also have found that uh, you can pair this card the lowes business rewards card from american express a lot better with other store card like the one from uh, from bj's or costco for example i want to talk to you now about the we want to compare and contrast the Inc. Business Preferred card to uh, the lowest business credit card. Okay, so it's really important to understand that the Chase Inc. Business Preferred card gives you a versatile rewards and lots of them too. So from the get go, the Inc. Business Preferred will, will reward you for, let's say, for investing in your business. So you'll get 80,000 bonus points if you will spend $5,000 within the first three months as a card holder. So this is really cool. So for sustained, for sustained rewards, you will earn 3x rewards for every dollar you spend on travel, shipping, social media, and search engine and advertising, and internet, cable, and phone services. However, the rate will only apply to the first $150,000 you spend annually within these categories, and beyond that, you will earn 1x rewards for every other dollar you spend with your Inc. Business Preferred card with no limits to how much you can earn with this rate. And what we love here is that Chase is really giving you a lot of flexibilities, a lot of flexibility in this whole, uh, whole this whole equation. Why? Because this rewards can be redeemed as a variety of things. For example, cashback, 
gift cards that if you redeem them through the Chase Ultimate Rewards, your welcome bonus will be worth $1,000 or travel. So Chase is really uh, incentivizing you to use the card within their ecosystem. You know, it is what it is. And I want, to, I want to actually show you another, I want to compare this card with another card. You have uh, the lowest business rewards card for, versus the Inc. Business Cash Credit Card. So the Inc. Business Credit Card, the Inc. Business Cash Credit Card might be better for someone who spends more heavily in areas of typical office spending than specifically on home improvement stores. And so this, this card has no annual fee. So, and the cool thing is you will earn 5% cashback on the first $25,000 spent in combined purchases at office supply stores and on internet, cable and phone services each account anniversary year and 2% cashback on the first $25,000 spent in combined purchases at gas stations and restaurants each account anniversary year. So the cool thing is you are able to earn 1% cashback on all other purchases. This is kind of cool. And uh, if you own another Chase Ultimate Rewards earning card, you can combine those points with, uh, you can combine your points with the earnings from this one too. You also have a, a, another card that I wanna quickly uh, compare and contrast with uh, the Lowe's Business Rewards card. You have the Capital One Spark Cash Plus. So this is uh, this is kind of cool. This card actually is a great all-in-one solutions, I mean solution for elevated earnings. So let's say the card earns an unlimited 2% cashback on every purchase and as a matter of fact, you also have 5% cashback on hotels and rental cars booked through Capital One Travel. So it has to be done through Capital One Travel. It does come with an annual fee of $150. And the cool thing is if you spend, let's say you spend less than 40, 4700 let's say $4,750 annually, go with another option because the rewards you would earn will not outweigh the annual fee on this card after the first year of ownership. So let me give you a, what is the verdict here? Let's have a conversation about that. So is the lowest business rewards card for you? That's an, that's very, it's a very interesting question because, uh, you know, first of all, I think I've answered part of a, part of a, this, uh, question in to, to this conversation. And the, the answer I gave was, are you part of like, do you do a lot of, uh, consequential, consequential purchases at lows? Do you do something consequential with them? Do you buy stuff for them? Do, or do you have a, a big project coming up right now? If you, if you do have a big project, then it's worth it. But, but, but if you're not routinely involved in some kind of a Lowe's ecosystem, it's not going to be really worth it for you to actually use this card. Okay. That's a long, that's a short story to, to, uh, to, to this. That's a short answer to this question. Now, the long answer is it really depends on your situation depends on your financial situation depends on the on the discounts you want to have it depends on the alternatives you have access to right because see if you because Lowe's is not the only uh, home improvement store in the nation you have other players that are offering also some kind of uh, some kind of incentive to to lure, to lure, lure, lure you in it's really important to understand that your your possibilities are not limited so because of that you have to explore what really can work for you and so the low the Lowe's credits the Lowe's business credit card has alternative in terms of uh, like you can get rewards card from uh, regular banks, the Chase. I, I spoke to you about Chase, Capital One. You also have credit unions. Do not forget credit unions. A lot of credit unions do have programs in place that rewards like, uh, you know, some kind of purchases. When you speak about, when you think about Navy Fed, for example, when you think about SDCCU, when you think about uh, BECU, so the, the Boeing, the Boeing Employees uh, Credit Union, when you think about uh, the, um, Andrew Federal, so you do have a constellation of credit unions. They're also really great when it comes to uh, you know business credit cards. So think about what really works for you. Think about what, what think about what really uh, is better for your business too, because this is essentially a a business credit card even though it is a store credit card it still remains a business credit card so think about what is really best for you in this uh, in, in this process Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I'm just quickly talking to you about Lowe's business credit cards. So we talked about, so I give you the overview, the details, the rewards, the extras, the rivals, and I also give you the verdict. Our verdict is it's a go. 
this card is a go if uh, you have some kind of affiliation with Lowe's. Thank you. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.